Hey folks, here we are here in Michigan, another rainy day. And you guys know I like to do a lot of grilling, a lot of smoking outside. I don't have a covered patio out back. And uh, as a result, you know, on days like today, it makes it difficult. It's going to be raining all day. It doesn't look like there's any breaks coming in the cloud cover. So I wanted to do some ribs. And so now what do I do? Try to set up some umbrellas or something or just, you know, stand in the rain. So I'm thinking about getting an indoor grill. You know, one of those smokeless indoor grills. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to compare some online. We're going to go ahead and check them out and see what kind of features they got. And uh, probably decide on one of them and get it indoors so I can do some grilling right on the countertop, right? Sounds good. Let's get this done. Let's take a look and compare some of these grills. first grill that popped up kind of caught my eye. Um, this is the Philips Smokeless Infrared Grill. It's infrared, which I thought was kind of cool. The heating elements are around the exterior rather than down below. And uh, this particular unit, though, is a little bit pricey. We're looking at uh, around almost $300, just under. But if you notice, it's got a temperature, uh, therm you know, a thermostat, a dial, but it really only, it says it's adjustable, but in the grill mode, it does heat up to exactly 446 degrees, which I understand is the optimum for grilling and searing. The nice thing though, the coils are on the exterior and all the grease and juices and all that kind of stuff just falls down into the drip pan, which stays cool so it doesn't smoke. Everything's nonstick, the top comes off for easy cleaning and all of that. But kind of a heavy price tag of around 280, give or take. Um, I would imagine you can probably find it a little bit cheaper on Amazon, that type of thing. But what I do like is, you know, you do get these nice grill marks like you would do on a regular barbecue grill. I'm not positive if you have an adjustable thermostat or not. It says it does, but I can't find any comments regarding the different settings. All right, now here's another one, the Clorac. Okay, this is a much less expensive, $115, $120 unit. A um, little cheaper, it is smokeless. But the difference is, you know, is this. The, the coils are right underneath. So does that flare up on you? I don't know, it's a lot cheaper though, $110, $120. Here we have another one, you know, uh, Exilvan. I believe is how you pronounce it, Exilvan Indoor Grill. This particular one is even a little less expensive. Once again, it's got a little bit bigger grill than the last one, but we're at a price point of now, I believe this one was like $70, $69.99. It does have a thermostat, you can go up and down. Um, it does have you know, all non-stick, it's got the drip pan, you know, uh, which is good, however, now this particular one has a little bit more surface on the stick, but once again, you've got the electric coils right underneath and all the grease is going to be dripping on there. Do we have a grease flare-up issue on these? Wouldn't that smoke if the grease hit that? No, this next one is really interesting to me. The Hamilton Beach. It is, you know, once again, has all the same features. It's got the, you know, the uh, non-stick grate. It's electric, adjustable thermostat. The, the drip pan, and uh, but the coils are underneath the grate, and it appears that on these units that they design the grate so that the the grease doesn't drop right onto the coils. At least that's my thought. This particular one has a lid though, like a barbecue grill, and I think that makes a difference. And the price point, it's fifty nine ninety nine, is what I saw online. And you can shut that lid, giving you a little bit more uh, temperature like you would on your barbecue grill, if you need that. So anyway, I thought that was a good, uh, it might be a good unit. Now the next one we have, folks, is our old friend, the boxing uh, champion, George Foreman. He's got a smokeless barbecue grill. This one's round, comes on a stand, price point is about 100 bucks. 
but it's not a grill, so to speak. He calls it the smokeless grill, it has a stand, you can use it outside as a barbecue, or you can bring it indoors. But what it does have is the griddle with, you know, the little, um, I don't know what you call those, but it is electric, you can adjust the temperature, it's, it's uh, non-stick, you can clean it, it's got drip pans where all the grease goes in there. You can use it outdoors on a stand, put it on a picnic table, put it on your countertop, it is smokeless electric, adjustable, uh, you know, but then again, it doesn't have the grates, it just has the ridged griddles. So I don't know, there's that style. So what do you go with? Um, now, there, the rest of them that I can find are, like this is a George Foreman style. It's the T-Fail makes it. It's kind of like the old George Foreman, you know, uh, style, but it's got the, the ridges drips into a pan, um, so I, I, I don't know, you can make paninis and stuff in this, but is it really a smokeless grill, you know, do you go with that griddle style, um, I, I, I'm not qu quite sure. That particular one's priced at around 60 bucks if I'm not mistaken. And then they have these more high-end ones that'll do a little bit more. Um, you know, they have the flat grills. They got the, the ones with the, the ridges on it. And these are a little higher end. You know, they you can do paninis. You can do steaks. You can do sandwiches. You can do all kind of stuff on these. You can even do breakfast, open them up and do that kind of thing. But once again, they're really not like a barbecue grill. They're more like a griddle or a raised griddle. Um, that type of thing. So th this is kind of what, what we have to choose from. I'm not sure which way to go. I kind of like to have the barbecue style. Well, folks, there you have it. That's what we have to choose from. You know, these, I, I like the ones that look like a barbecue. They actually act like a barbecue. You know, they've got the grates. And that first one caught my eye. You know, it's got the infrared. The heating elements are on the outside definitely gonna probably remain cleaner a lot longer drip pans down below it stays cool doesn't smoke I think that's a pretty good unit I believe it's the Phillips however at a price point of like what 260 280 it's a little heavy um, but looks like one of the better units I'm not sure about the adjusting temperature feature on there it appears it only had a couple of settings it didn't turn when when I saw the knob turning it kind of clicked from click click like a low medium high type of thing as opposed to adjusting the temperature I don't think that's a deal breaker but it, it could be I have to get a little more info on that so if you know please let me know in the comments and then the other units being a little less expensive 120 I think 80 and another one at 60 definitely better price points um, but I imagine you get what you pay for my concern is the heating element underneath the gr uh, grates I think they're designed where the grease will drip around or won't touch the heating elements. That's my guess. If they're smokeless, you know, otherwise they would flare up, right? So assuming that's the case, uh, the other ones are, are fairly good options. Now the Hamilton Beats, I really liked having the lid on that. Um, I did see another unit. I didn't put it in the video, but it did have a, a lid that was more like a, um, you know, a pan. Like if you had a, a, a stir fry pan or something, had a removable lid. I like the Hamilton Beach that it looks like a, a barbecue grill lid, which is kind of cool. But you, it, at a price point of $59.99, uh, it's much smaller. So you have much less area to work with. So I kind of am leaning towards those, but I've never used one. Um, now that George Foreman and all the rest of them have the raised griddles or the flat griddle. And... You know, which is not exactly like a barbecue or a grill, right? But uh, I, I would imagine it gives you the same effect where you can still get the same grill marks uh, on the raised griddles, right? Um, one thing I do like about those, not so much the George Foreman. That one is obviously at a $100 price point with the stand and everything is pretty cool. Um, but uh, the other models, you can make these sandwiches like the paninis that heat on the top and the bottom at the same time. And, um, you know, the T-Fail was fairly inexpensive. It's very similar to the original George Foreman 
grill that he came out with years ago uh, where it leans forward and all the, the drippings go into a pan that's in front. Um, but the other units are more of a high end. Uh, they get into the 250 once again up to $300 range and you're, you can get the flat griddles or, or the raised and you can do a, a lot more with them. You know, you, not only the steaks and the ribs and the burgers and all that kind of stuff, but you can get into the paninis and the sandwiches and, and those type of things. You know, you can even lay them flat and, and do eggs and you know, bacon and pancakes on them. So they're a much more well-rounded machine and have a lot more features on them. But once again, you're paying for it, the $250, $300. So I, I'm not sure exactly where to go at this point. Uh, I think the Hamilton Beach $60 one with the lid, I kind of dig it, but I think it's going to be a little too small for what I'm going to use. So my, uh, I need some help. If you guys wouldn't mind commenting down below, let me know if you guys have ever used any of these things indoors, because that's mainly what I want to use. It's been raining all day yesterday. It's been raining all day today. It appears it's stopped now for the moment, but you know, on days like today where it's cold and windy and rainy, I wouldn't mind throwing a slab of ribs or some stuff on in the house on the countertop, right? So if you've used these things, please uh, let me know what style you've used, what you like, what you don't like about it, maybe a brand name, model, that kind of thing. I'd really appreciate it. You just comment down below and also make sure you, you, know, you click up here at the end of the video and you subscribe to my channel. And please like and share it with your friends, all right? And also, I always have videos in the corners here at the end, you know, playlists and that kind of thing. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and peace out. See you around.